The legend of Lewis Wetzel is well known to most people in Morgan County, Ohio. The stories of the wily Indian fighter were a part of our Ohio history courses in grade school. And along with the stories of his heroics, most of us have also heard about Wetzel's Rock, where he had carved his name and a message for future generations. Wetzel's prowess as an Indian fighter is mythologized in several books about the settling of the Ohio River Valley. He's said to have slain many of the savages that roamed the hills and valleys. His ability to load a muzzle loader on the run is repeated in many accounts. His cunning is exemplified by a stunt in which he fooled a group of Indians into discharging their rifles by putting his cap on his ramrod and moving it from behind a tree. Wetzel's exploits were undoubtedly embellished and glorified in books over the years. Even Zane Gray added to Wetzel's stature and mystique. But descriptions of him could also be disturbing. He was six feet tall, with jet black eyes and hair, that when unbraided would reach below his knees. He wore feathers and adornments in the many holes in his ears. He was dark enough to sneak into an Indian village unnoticed. His eyes were described as wild and darting. He did not speak well. He preferred to roam alone through the woods than to join the company of other settlers. He hated the natives and took pleasure in brutally slaying as many as he could. Some accounts say he was born in 1763 in Virginia. Others say it is unclear when he was born. In March of 2009, three of us set out to find the fabled Wetzel's Rock in Morgan County. We traveled north along the Muskingum River into Muskingum County and then back over the county line just into Morgan County. From there, we hiked down into a steep ravine and followed along the east side of the creek until we found the rock. Its carvings are still clear and distinct, but the inscriptions also tell a somewhat different story, including a spelling of Wetzel that does not match any written account. 